Everybody, Brian here from the Guitar Factory OC.com. Today we're going to look at Leonard Skinner's Simple Man. This is a really great song to learn because it essentially only has three chords inside of it and two parts. It's going to be mainly based around your right hand learning to develop arpeggiating. And an arpeggiating a chord means to break up the chord, not strum it, but pick it out within a pattern. So we're going to be looking a lot at that and we'll break down both the parts. You can have the whole song of Simple Man down. Hey everyone, I've attached in the description below a link for a free cheat sheet of the tab and chords of this song so you could follow along, print it out for free and have it as you work on it. All right, getting into the main riff. We're gonna be doing this song in standard tuning. I do wanna mention that the actual recording of Simple Man is tuned a half step down. So if you wanna match the recording, just drop your tuning a half step. We'll keep it standard for the lesson. So we're gonna start with uh, these three chords that make up the main riff of the song. There's a C, a G, and an A minor. But like I said in the beginning, there's gonna be a lot of picking with the right hand on this. So before we just jump right to the C chord, there's two pickup notes that begin uh, the song. You're gonna do the open A, then the second fret of the A with your middle finger, and then your ring finger getting on that third fret of the A string to be ready for your C chord. So you kind of walk into it. All right, so that's where we're gonna set the song up. Once we get to that C chord, I'm gonna show you the right hand picking pattern that we gotta really master because they're gonna use it for all the chords in the song. Here's the right hand picking pattern when the C chord comes in. A string first, skip over to the G, come back to the D, the one you skipped, and then back home to the, the A. That's your first part of the picking pattern. Then I'm gonna jump all the way up to the B string and come back to the G. D, and then back to the G. So that's your second half. So putting those together, that's your whole picking for the C chord. Skip the G. Putting it together without stopping. Adding in that pickup I mentioned. your first chord. Let's move on to the G chord next. Okay, with your G chord, we're gonna keep the same picking pattern going, but we're gonna drop it down, or I should say more up, to the thicker set of strings. So exact picking pattern, just starting on the low E instead of the A. Let me show you how that looks. So when we go to that low E, we're gonna be holding our G shape, do your G, skip to the D string this time, come back to the A, the one you skipped, back to the E, and then all the way up to the G, back to the D, the A, and the D. So that's that G pattern right there. Okay, hearing those two together. chord the A minor. Okay with the A minor we're going to be using the same picking pattern but something special happens at the end of this. It lasts a little bit longer than just that pattern. There's a little turnaround they do where they add a pinky down. So let's start with the A minor that we're going to do the same way we did the C and the G. We're going to do the A minor chord and we're going to start from the A string just like the beginning. Skip to the G, D, back to A, B, G, if you haven't noticed, it's really good to memorize the names of these strings so that I call them out, you know exactly the ones you're picking. So knowing the names of your strings is huge, you guys. Elephants and donkeys grow big ears. E-A-D-G-B-E. -E. So here's that A minor again. Okay, so we did it the same way we did the C, but now here's that special ending I was talking about. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit and let you see. We're gonna start the pattern but we're gonna start with the open A, but jump right to the B. Come back to the G and the D. Now I'm dropping my pinky on the high E third fret without losing my shape. High E, 
B. Okay, so when you get that, that's going to be the tail ending of this. Here's the whole A minor phrase. There's that ending. And then we're going to do the O2 and repeat the whole thing again. So putting it all together, here's what it would sound like. throughout all the verses there. One little tip I want to mention on this is, you know, a lot of times you'll notice I'm not having the whole chord built quite yet when I start my picking. I want to keep the timing going. So if you notice when I go to the C, that's pretty much built. Watch my G. I'm not even really quite done building it. Same with the A minor. My pointer is just making its way when I've already hit my open A string. So utilize those open strings or those bass notes to strike first while you're building the chord is a great secret to making it sure you can make transitions cleaner and faster as opposed to just um, hitting the C, waiting for your G to get built, then pick like that, waiting for the A minor. I'm, I'm placing fingers almost as I'm going to make sure I can make this in time. That's one secret that can help you uh, throughout playing this song up to speed. Let's take a look at the second part. Uh, this is going to be where the kind of distortion kicks on, the electric guitars come in, but it's a great riff even on the acoustic. Hey, if you're enjoying my videos, please go ahead and click like. Also subscribe to the channel. You'll get alerted when new videos drop. All right, when the band kind of kicks in a little bit more, um, they have a riff that happens that's all based around the same chords that we're working on, but the riff's a really cool one to play even on the acoustic. Here's the uh, interlude riff. All right, what that is, is we're gonna go to the A string third fret, their pointer, and we're gonna slide very quickly from the fifth to the seventh on the A string. That quick, we don't wanna hear much of the five. Come back to the five that you slid from, the three on the A, so it's. That's based around the C chord, starting on that bass note of the C. Now we're gonna go to the low E third fret, just based around the G chord, and do that same sliding riff on the A string. Slide from five to seven, five to three. Okay, so so far you have this. And now we're gonna land on the fifth fret of the E string. Now we're gonna do the open E, three, open, and slide quickly again from three to five. And that's your um, kind of interlude riff that they do between verses and choruses. They do that O2 again. Hey, if you're looking to improve your overall guitar playing, head over to theguitarfactoryoc.com. I put together full guitar courses, games, challenges, all kinds of cool stuff to help improve your playing. In fact, if you click the link in the description below, you can get access to your free quick start course.